Uh, got some burnout truck parts. Oh, yep, they're here. We've got all sorts of parts for this thing. All right, guys, so I got this order from Texas Speed. They hooked up Bernie with a cam. We are going with Bernie, the burnout truck on this thing. So uh, we're gonna get the cam kit opened up and then we'll move on to some other parts that I got from Motion. Got the cam kit here. I uh, went ahead and changed up a few things just to try to, uh, I don't know, give me the best chance at making this thing live, but also not spending a huge amount of money on this stuff. So, got Texas Speed valve spring kit here. More or less, I just more did a uh, valve spring kit. This is the push rod. So I went with good push rods. I don't know if uh, the LS push rods really fell very often, so got a set of Cromoly push rods for it. And then valve spring from my push rods. So I ended up getting some lifters as well. This is a set of LS7 uh, lifters. Just went with some cheap, basic LS7 lifters. Uh, they are good, genuine GM parts. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. I was gonna, that's kind of one of the things I was debating was whether or not to go with some really good Johnson lifters. Um, which if it starts to live and do good, I'll probably throw some in there, but I also don't wanna put like a $430 set of lifters in there and break the motor, send junk through the lifters, and be out a set of lifters right away. Got a keychain, some stickers. And here's the cam. I got the cam here. I talked to Seth and a couple of the guys at Texas Speed and told them what the plan was. The plan was that all I needed was a cam to make good power, be loud uh, and obnoxious at like 4,500 to like 7,000 RPM or above. And they spec'd one out and sent it. And uh, this is pretty cool little deal. They even threw on the old Build Tune Race logo on the cam. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out of here. We got some specs on the cam too. Uh, show you guys. So that's the cam specs. Uh, they know their stuff and I don't know much about anything with cams. So I'm gonna trust that what they chose out for this thing and we're gonna uh, send it. All right, box number two. Big old package from Motion. I ordered a ton of stuff that's Motion related for this thing and I'm uh, going to do a little bit of install stuff with it. Uh, helps me create some content with it as well. And then also when we go down to the Cletus and Cars and stuff, we're going to be in the Motion booth with this thing. All the packing. Ooh. A little sneak peek. All right. Oh, yeah. So here's one of the big things that I ended up getting was a column so ended up going with the lightweight column that they have get rid of that old junk that was in there that was all floppy anyway so have this and then it also has the uh, quick release on it so this is a bolt-in deal that they offer and then got a grant steering wheel for it gonna put some button brackets on the steering wheel as well also ended up picking up a trans cooler kit from them. So that's what the Fregola line is for. And needed a trans cooler for the power glide. So just went ahead and got the complete power glide uh, trans cooler kit from them. Let's see what else we got in here. This is the quick release for the steering column. So that goes on there, which we'll show you guys here in a little bit when we put it all together. And adapts to the wheel. Most stuff. Alex really comes by just when I can use his knife. <laughs> so there is a bunch of the fittings for the trans cooler kit. And we have some steering wheel button brackets uh, and the collar for the column. And then the button itself. Got some more banners because we're going to have motion banners all over this thing. Mo stickers and some Tootsie Pops. You want a Tootsie Pop? And then the handy dandy motion horn delete button. Next. These are sweet. This is a newer product that they came up with and that looks sweet. I think this uh, valley cover looks like it's worth more than the whole 4.8 liter, but we're going to put it on there. It's going to look nice, add a little flare to it. Sorry. 
it's just what ah. looked like an ostrich sticking his head in the ground. Some more parts. All right. So now this is a bunch of U bins. They're pretty tight. I want the tighter ones. Uh, Motion offers a bunch of mandrel bins. So I ordered a bunch of mandrel bins. That's what this whole box is to build some headers for this thing. Zoomies out the hood, hopefully shooting flames. And to go along with header tubes, we need header flanges. So I'm gonna use these header flanges and start building some tubes. Come shooting up out the hood. Oh yeah. Here is one of the uh, bars that you use on the steering column kit. We got some more parts. I ended up getting one of the fuel regulator kits from them too to start plumbing up the fuel system uh, up by the intake. Then I'll order some more stuff to finish out the system. And then we got a few more things under here. Steam vent kit. If you guys haven't seen these, they're super popular. It'll look awesome above the billet valley cover. CHE trunnion kit for all the RPMs. And then some more line. And gaskets for the uh, steam vent kit. So huge, huge shout out to Motion. They're gonna be a big part of this build and I'm super excited to use a bunch of their parts on this S10. And then a few other products I picked up were some ARP head bolts, that melling high oil, oil pump that I was telling you guys about, a, uh, some head gaskets, and also I picked up an SFI flex plate so then I can have some peace of mind that the flex plate's not gonna fly apart and come through the truck. Got the CHE kit opened up, that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna put the Trunnion upgrade in there. It says up here 650 lift for a maximum 8,500 RPM. That's what I'm talking about. So you end up using a 7.8 socket setting this right here kind of centers it up nice and easy on the socket right there you take a punch knocking the regular trunnion and bearings out of it there and then clean that out set it on the other side because you still have this little race here and you can either use a little press, ours doesn't work all that great, or you center the socket up right here on that inner race. Knock that one out, and then you're good to go. Go ahead and do the other 14 of them, and then we will start installing the trunnion kit. Alex is taking these little bushings out of the CHE trunnion kit. These cool little pieces here, uh, dips them in oil, by per the directions, dipping them in oil, and then they just sit right in there. So they're not a press fit on this deal, which is pretty nice. Makes it pretty easy. So just set them in there with a little bit of oil, getting these all installed, and then we'll move on to installing the uh, little cross pin. I guess that would be considered the trunnion. And then um, we'll do the other bushing on the other side, and then you got a bunch of C-clips to uh, hook them in there. There is 16 rockers with CHE trunnion kits. This is a really cool kit. I actually really like the way that it goes together. Uh, you don't have to press anything in. You just use the uh, little snap rings and that's it right there. So pretty. So you guys can see it right there. Little snap ring on there. The bushing. And now we're ready for uh, 8500 RPMs. <laughs> to go along with the CHE trunnion kit, we went ahead and put some new valve springs on here for the new cam. The Texas Speed Dual Valve for Springs, the 660s. Got one head done, gonna go ahead and knock out this other head now. So working on this last head, we got this handy dandy little tool here that uh, mounts to the stock rocker stand and then turn these down. Just right give right a little there. pressure to the valves and then uh, they'll pop up and then we use a little magnet to grab the keepers out of there. You guys can see they're a little stuck to begin with so you gotta give them a little pressure. And once they're loose you can grab them with a little magnet, fill them out of there and uh, release the spring and then drop the new ones on with the, uh, we also got some new seals as well so get those dropped on there and then you end up with this at the end. Popping the oil pan back off to get to the 
pickup tube here. I already loosened these up, so we're going to go ahead and slide the pump off. And it runs right there on that gear. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new Melling high volume pump on. And we're going to flip it back over and get a cam in this thing. Ended up pulling that pan back off to get everything torqued up. New oil pump is on. All right, so check that out. Build tune race on the cam. That's so freaking sweet. Uh, shout out to Texas Speed on this one. Custom cam for the burnout truck. Easy does her. One little bit of time. Nice and soft. This is where it gets difficult because you're holding the whole way to the camp, so I'm going to give myself a little leverage bar. Cam is in. Not too bad. Now we just gotta hope it stays in there for a while. We got the cam all set in here, new oil pump, and then now I'm working on the lifters. So onto the last set, I'm doing just a little pre-oil, just dunking them in some oil right here, setting them into the lifter trays, and then setting them in here. Alex looks up torque specs on lifter trays because I don't know what that's gonna be going in plastic. If there is any if there is one at if all. If there even is one. Alex is getting started on the steering column. We're just removing the stock one, so then we can get the new one put in there. On this one, I did go with some stock three-layer MLS gaskets. Uh, nothing too fancy on this one. Saved a few bucks. And I'm not sure if this engine's gonna see it to boost anyway, so if it does, it'll probably get different cam and stuff for boost, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw some new three-layer MLSs on it. Send it. It's got uh, that stock ugly thing off the column and now we should be good. We got the couple of adapter uh, pieces for here and then also the one that comes out and then they sent us that rod that connects the two that's just about this length. So on this one I'm just going to use ARP head bolts. I used it on my old 5.3 it worked great so I'm just going to do bolts, uh, save some money over studs and for this thing the bolts are going to be plenty. The nice part is they're reusable so if you're out on the road and you need to do something like this, you can reuse these. So uh, it gets a little bit of the ARP grease on the threads and on the uh, inside of the head right here. So a little dab of grease there, a little bit on the threads, and we will get these uh, hand tightened in here and then come back and torque them all down. But check out that motion bill at Valley Cove. Man, talk about polishing a turd here, this is... That is nice compared to this old dirty 4.8, but it's gonna look killer. Alex is over here doing work, cleaning up all the uh, engine covers. Look at these freaking valve covers. They're, they were terrible. Now they look pretty dang good. And now he's working on the front timing cover. I have the uh, main run of head bolt torqued. Um, I've still gotta do these top little ones. ARP gives you all the torque specs and everything. So getting to uh, finish this out. Then we should be able to get it sealed up. So we're going to go ahead and start installing the push rods now. We got everything else tightened up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set these all in here. And then get uh, the rockers in here with the trunnion upgrade. I guess we can push those in all the way. And then I'm uh, going to go ahead and get everything bolted on. Finish sealing up the engine. Probably call it a night. All right, everyone. We are closing up the night at... 2.18 in the morning, but the goal for today was to get the engine sealed back up. We got it sealed up, got the new motion cover on it, ARP bolts in it, new oil pump, oil pans back on it, everything is done. Alex did a heck of a clean job on the covers, and uh, yeah, so 2.18 in the morning. Back to building cars like we were with Clyde. Memories. Yeah. Memories of being up all sorts of hours in the night working so on the Mazda. In the deck. next month, we need at least four nights of 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. We're going to try not to do that. But <laughs> if we need to, I'm sure we'll do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, engine sealed up. So tomorrow, we're probably going to work on the column. 
and getting the engine set back in the truck and then starting to mock up all that stuff again actually not mock up but final assemble it all because once it's in the truck we shouldn't need to pull it back out so thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the cam install on the engine and tomorrow we'll be on that so if you want to see more videos of this burnout truck build make sure you hit that subscribe button we'll see you in the next video